You should like come over and hang out. Um, I already told you. I don't have a date with Jeremiah. Don't you ever listen to me? Jeremiah? Yeah, the e harmony dude. The one that you called the baby, which he actually isn't at all, and you would know that if you listen to me. How would you know that? You said his profile picture was of a black card. What is he? In like the sixth grade? Besides, you aren't even supposed to do this anyway. You just turned 17 last month, Sophie. Shut up, Valerie. And I set my profile on private, so if he does end up being a crazy, then he won't even know what I look like. You don't even know what he looks like, so how will you know who he is? I'll just know, okay? I'll just like message me or something. Hold up. I'm pretty sure some Dolce is a model. model just left it because, oh my god, is he fine? <gasps> what if it's him? I don't know, Sophie. I think you're getting yourself into a lot of trouble. Whatever, Valerie. You're just mad because I have an Abercrombie and a face model in my pockets. I gotta go. Bye. Hey, is that you, Caitlin? It's nice and fun to meet you. Go ahead and sit down. Uh, yeah. Nice weather we're having, right? Um, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. The weather is nice. Okay, so, you are in the news, and I'll be back for the next season. <laughs> Everything looks so good. But, um, I have to actually go for a second. I, I gotta go to Okay, yeah. Oh my god, it's my favorite kind of music. 
I would love to see you guys like practice or perform sometime or something. Oh, hey, we're actually having the show down tonight. Oh, we got a foxy guy over here who wants a breadsticks. <laughs>
here. I don't have my wallet on there. You're so gross! I hope it's in a bag of clothes brands or something. I'm not having a wallet. I make minimum wage. <laughs> and third one, are we still on for the night?
know why? Because I wanted them a part of the buzz. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I knew I couldn't trust you, you no good cocktail freak show. You're right all along, Wayne, and everyone you know that. Besides, I've already called our employers along with me. I mean, honestly, do you think I would just get away with this? I'm a rat. A rat. You're fair to treat everyone here. You know, you said a point, boss. I mean, you can break French all, but you've got plenty of chances. Ew! You shut your mouth for a second! Alright? I'm not gonna eat anybody! None of you! I eat honey! You all know that, right? Whatever you say, boss. Are you done? Alright, enough of this. It's time for you to meet your maker, me, and friends. Oh, bother. <laughs> Well, that's what you can't see in your face. 
Bits, Jack Bits, Jack Rat, Jack Z, Jack Dude, good. But hey, where are the girls? Are they beat around? Yeah, they're probably just doing some last minute stuff. Hey, Max, why do you always get the hot one? Dude, what are you talking about? You got the hot one too? I mean, I got a hot one, but not the hot one. What do you want to do then? We can switch dates. Alright. Well, hello, Laura.
Are you okay? I just, I can't believe Emma did that to me. I didn't think she could do something that killed me ever. Like, she always got the second best guys, or the guys that I never really wanted. Well, she probably wanted to feel special <laughs> since she's always in your shadow. That's not true. Emma always gets the hot ones. Just the ones that I already dated. I just, I can't believe Max left me for her. Well, if it makes you feel better, Max wasn't really on the date with you. I was on the date with you. What? Yeah, that's why he seemed so freaked out when he saw your face. It wasn't because of your makeup, it's because he wanted to go on the date with you. Oh my gosh! I just ruined my friendship with Emma for no reason! I I made assumptions that she ruined my date with Max, and now I don't know where friendship is at this point. Laura, don't pull yourself down. I know that you got more than you and by the time you know it, you guys can be best friends again. Thanks, Austin, but I don't think Emma and I can be friends again. She's something really mean stuff to me. And she was saying some of those things, I realized she isn't the best friend that I thought she was. I just feel really bad because I feel like some of this is my fault since Max and I switched dates and all. Don't feel bad, Austin. I mean, I don't think Max would go on the date with me anyway, especially after we talk about makeup. I mean, guys. No, don't think that. If Max would have gone on the date with you because your makeup, then that's not a true guy for you. I would never do anything like that because I don't care about what's on the list. Wow, Austin. You truly are the best person to come to the world. You're going to make some people really happy. Really? You think that?
boy train. Ew, why did you come out with a red print running all over marker? If you not mud her. What is it then? It represents the blood of all the people who come we talk <laughs>
relates to his super stand through vision. Plus, Stanton says if I'm in the bird watching club, it'll make me be smart. Yeah, I uh, learned how to make friends like you suggested to Fable. Stu <laughs> <laughs> Stone, will you take care of me? She asked me, son, when I grow old, will you buy me a house? I can't believe Eugene left me for that teacher. I mean, bird watching club? How exciting could that be? Star 
Starbucks gift card receiver because he did really good in the, the thing. <laughs> you could have just lied about it. Lord, you just a genius.
Hey, man. Man, I was so scared. I didn't know what was happening. 